talked about this before, and it's so important that we're going to talk about it again. I haven't used the term visceral bias, but that is an appropriate term. It's what's happening when you have a strong gut reaction to something and it causes you to take action without fully thinking through the implications of your action or even why you've decided to respond in the way that you are. You see, what's happening here is that you're allowing emotion to sweep you away before you allow time to do some good critical thinking to make sure these are the steps you really wanna take, that they're the best steps, the ones that will serve you well in achieving whatever it is that you want to accomplish. You know, emotion is the enemy of reason. We need to keep both of those in balance, emotion and reason in balance with each other. That's where you will do a better job of critical thinking and where you'll be able to exercise your mental might and avoid having regrets because of the emotional response or reaction that you took in haste. Emotions are good. They inform us. But they shouldn't be the only thing we rely on when it's time to make a decision or to solve a problem or to engage in debate with someone else. Emotions can cause us to miscalculate and to make mistakes. As good, strong, critical thinkers, we can do better. We just have to keep it all in balance. Don't allow your visceral bias to take you off course.